Glory. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Praise our God. And we certainly want to honor him tonight for his blessing and the privilege that he has given to yeah. us. Yeah. Yeah. I want to also tonight, and we're here, amen, again, to give God his glory, to give him his praise, yeah. give him his glory, whatever the Lord has as need of you tonight, and that is that we come to offer the sacrifices of thanksgiving, yeah. honor, and praise to our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Yeah. Amen. Here with this afternoon, tonight, brother. Uh, we say afternoon, but it's tonight. God is still good and worthy of all honor and all praise. Amen. Had it not been for him, that was on all of our side. I don't know where would we be here tonight. All of this corruption and evil going on. And our nation has been up But we want to continue to pray that God will certainly bind the enemy. This is our enemy's attack. It certainly didn't come from God. Amen. For he's a God, not of confusion, but he's a God, amen, that is to give us peace and all of the good things that go along with it. the anointing and the spirit of holiness. Amen. And I don't believe that God wants us to live in fear. Praise the Lord. Amen. Because of, amen, these people is <coughs> raging so. And as see, everything has a purpose. Everything has a purpose. Everything has a purpose. We got to know here tonight God's purpose in, in all of this. God is still not disturbed. Praise the Lord. And you as a servant of God, likewise you shouldn't be disturbed. Amen. It's new to all of us. It's new, but it is not new to God. Praise the Lord. This is this is this is God's uh, mighty is showing us, Amen, what His capabilities is and what He can do for uh, people, Amen. But it's one thing that I've learned: you cannot, Amen, uh, live this thing without. Uh, God, you've got to have the presence of God uh, in, in everything you do. Make sure the presence of God is in it, Amen. So that we can uh, be benefited from uh, the blessings of God, because God has blessings for His people, Amen. That we, as a people of God, Amen. That's why the Word of God said, "Ye do I walk through." I'm not going through the valley to camp. I'm going through the valleys amen, to reach the other side. Praise the Lord. So this is this is the Lord's doing. This is the Lord's doing. And I believe he wants his people to be very much courageous. Still be courageous in what you're doing. And, and don't slack up because the enemy is raging. And I say too, this too is going to pass. It can't, it can't last. Praise the Lord, because God is still in control. Praise the Lord. Am I right about it? Amen. Uh, in the book of Ephesians, on this afternoon, tonight, brother, we are going to the book of Ephesians, chapter 4, I think it is. And by the grace of God, we want to listen to what God is saying uh, to the body of Christ so that we can uh, prevail over darkness, amen, the powers of darkness and the things that are trying your spiritual uh, well-being because you will be trying. We all will be trying. And 
We all got to be, you know, this one thing we got to go through. And being strong in faith. Amen. Giving glory to God. Am I right? Amen. Amen. So that God can be glorified in all of us. I think that God wants to be glorified in him, in every one of us. Pray the Lord so that we can learn how to give him the glory. Pray the Lord because he must be glorified. Am I right? Amen. So we we will honor of the Lord here tonight. And we certainly appreciate his his grace and mercy uh, here for what God has done and doing in in, in our lives here tonight. And and we want to get into the word of the Lord and hoping that something can be said to strengthen our faith walk. Because your faith and all of our faith is being tried. Amen. Right now, amen. People just don't know what to do. Yes. Praise the Lord. But I tell you one thing <laughs> be encouraged to know this one thing God mm. never fails. Mm. He never fails. He ain't about to fail. Mm. See, there's one thing about it don't you throw it in the job either. <laughs> hey, let, me, let me say it like this when God throw in the towel then you throw it in <laughs> since God don't throw in the towel and God don't give up so don't, don't you give up amen because as soon as you give up praise the Lord the enemy will try to destroy you or he already destroyed you. Praise the Lord. But tonight we, we are concerned, <laughs> deeply concerned here on tonight. And as we was uh, on last Wednesday off show, we was talking about uh, don't compromise. Uh, stay focused. Mm-hmm. All of those things that we was discussing last week. And I want to just to add a little more to that. Amen. That we, I do believe this, that God is going to have a people called by his name. And I'm not just saying, because that's the first thing that we do, it's my people that are called by my name. Yet the word of God is right, y'all. But God is going to have a people that is going to be a God-class people. Amen. Come on. He, he is he is going to have a people for his namesake and for his glory. God ain't about to let this world uh, go to an end without having a special people. A people that don't mind giving God his honor. A people that are cut out for the master's use. Praise the Lord. I just, I just, I just believe that with all my heart. I don't, I don't believe that God is going to let all this stuff happen without having a, a people, Amen, of, that want to walk in a God class. I don't want to talk about tonight walking in a God class or not. That it's time for God's people, praise the Lord, Amen. That we we need to walk in a God class or not. Amen. And when I use that, I'm using it to the point that we're going to go back in history because God always, as I oftentimes tell you, and I've spoken it to you even on last week, and even in preaching on Sunday, His pattern don't change, but it gets greater. Praise the Lord. Amen. And I want us to look here on tonight because it is a time now that we need to really consider. I want to start at the 20th verse in that third and that fourth chapter of Ephesians and because he's trying uh, and I, I need to stop you know, for trying. We need to we need to get to the point in God that we have come to the absoluteness 
it because God don't try nothing. He just speak it and it's done. Praise the Lord. We try, but God speaks and it's done. Praise the Lord. So when we look at the word of God here, and Paul was encouraging the body of Christ in this fourth chapter of Ephesians. Uh, and you need to read the whole chapter because it's so uh, and it's so wonderful and so good because Paul, <laughs> uh, uh, you've got to get to understand the revelation that Paul had now. Because Paul had a greater revelation, amen, uh, than any of the apostles. Uh, because when he got his revelation, he got it on the uh, on the uh, what is that Arabian uh, uh, what Arabians what that place he that Paul was at, the, the, and he got his revelation from God when he was out on, the, on, the, on that uh, uh, place of, uh, of, of he went to this place. What was it, Raven? Yeah. Yeah. And, and he got his revelation from, from Jesus Christ. Amen. And the thing that he was, that God had revealed to him, uh, when he came back to his to the apostle, he found out that he wasn't, the Bible said that he wasn't one whit behind the chief apostle. And the chief apostle was Peter. Amen. Because of the revelation that God had revealed to him. Of where he was, and, and this is a time now that even Peter said that you, you have to notice that Paul's writing was 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 kind of hard to understand because he had such a deep revelation. Because when God revealed Himself to him, He just showed him all about Himself and showed him the glory and showed him all of the things that He. And that's why he, when he came back to the church, he said that he wasn't one whit behind him. But he came at the last end, but he found out that I'm not behind none of you. Praise the Lord. So when he began to say these things in here, and this is one reason here that 21st, that's why I chose that particular place there. He said, but you have not so learned. Listen to what he said. He said, you he said, but, see, <laughs> and, and out of all of the conversation uh, uh, that we, we have sometimes, all of us have a, have a, what, what, but, but you know, see, he said, but ye have not so learned Christ. Now, it was, it was a deep, deep meaning here when he began to say this concerning this, it, it, it's because of the experience that Paul had here, and that the thing that he could tell the body of Christ, because this was a certain time now that when he said you haven't learned Christ, this is one thing he said here, meaning that uh, not that you, uh, one thing for sure he was trying to get them to see that he did not say learn about Christ. They noticed, he didn't say that you learn about Christ. He said, but ye have not so learned Christ. Other words, Paul was saying here, which that to learn Christ mean to have a personal relationship with him. See, because you can, uh, uh, it's one thing about it, you can learn about Christ, and still not be saved. But when you have a personal relationship with him, see, you really learning about him. You you begin to know some things that you didn't quite understand about him. You you begin to have a personal encounter or a personal relationship with him. It's when you begin to say, you know, when you have this kind of relationship, you ain't just saying I I learned Christ. See, because you can learn about somebody by reading about them. See, <laughs> see, you can read about a person, amen, and, 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 and learn about them, but still you don't know them. Hello, y'all. Am I right? So, uh, to, to, to learn Christ means that you've got to have 
a personal relationship with him. In every area of your life, see, it's time out for the body of believers. If we're going to be God's believers, then it's time for the body of Christ is to really put some firm belief in the one that you trusted in. Because it's, it's time for us to do, to know him. That's why Paul said, I want to know him in the power of his resurrection. In, in, in all of these things that Paul was saying to the church, he was he was saying that because Paul had a personal encounter with Jesus. Did he? See, he had a personal encounter with Jesus when he met Jesus on the road of Damascus. Amen. When, he, when, 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 when Jesus amen, asked him, why, why do you persecute me? See, Paul was persecuting the people. But the people belongs to, to Jesus. And this is why he said, why are you persecuting me? Praise the Lord. So, so it's one thing that we got to notice here that when we begin to look at this, we have to have a personal experience and a personal relationship with him. That's when we begin to learn about him. Because once you start learning about him, you're going to learn about him by the word. The more the words you get in you, the more you learn about him. Oh, God, help us tonight. So this is a thing that we as a people of God is going to have to reconsider some things that we have been, been looking at. And know this one thing, that God wants us to have this. When you look into the word of God, it's no need of us because we got more time now than we ever had in history. It's to get into the word of God. For one thing, the people don't want you on their job. They told you to stay home. Praise the Lord. Now you can do your job at home. You can get in the word of God at home. Oh, God, help us here. Amen. Those things that they tried to help us in, we have a better hope now that we can get more knowledgeable of what God is saying to us by the word of God. And the more we get into the word of God, then we begin to learn more about it. Amen, Jesus. Am I right about it? So all of these things is to, is to help us to have a close relationship with him. There's, there's no excuse. In other words, let me put it like this. Sisters and brothers, there's no excuse now. God done did, did away with all, all of our excuses. We ain't got no excuse now from getting in the word of God. We got more time. Hello? Yes. Am I right about it? Mm -hmm. and, and, and now is the time that we need to get into the word so we can learn more about it and get that and so we can learn Christ. Not learn about Christ. Because you can learn about him and still don't be saved. But the more you learn of him, the more you go on to learn of him. Hello? Am I right about it? So all of these things is trying to, to show us here tonight, amen, that we must stay kingdom. What we should do is to stay kingdom focused. Don't lose your focus on the main ingredients. The main source here, amen, is walking in God class anointing. Because when you go back, I want us to go back, amen, and, and, and to the, the 12th chapter of Genesis, because there's something there that I wanted to show all of us. I think I, I, I was going to try to get into it even uh, uh, before, that I wanted all of us to see here, because uh, 
the pattern of God don't change. It the change it, it, it get greater for us. Now, now, now the Lord said unto Abram, get thee out from among your kindred. Y'all know the story of this. He outlined everything to Abram, didn't he? What he was doing here, he was getting him ready, getting him set for supernatural blessing. Naturally, he was blessed naturally. He was blessed financially. Listen, every area of his life, he was he was blessed. He was blessed going out. He was blessed coming in. Everything that God was giving him, hear me, y'all. He was given to us. He was blessed. He told us otherwise to leave your country, didn't he? And from our kingdom, and from our father's house, unto a land that I will show thee. He moved on a promise. Since he moved on a promise, he moved on faith. Oh, Jesus. That's the same thing you and I tonight have with us a promise. And this is why we got to use faith on the promise. He was blessed. God blessed him. And those blessings came on us. Oh, Lord, let me tell you, it, it came on the whole world. The first Adam messed up. So God went and got another, another man by the name of Abram. Blessed him, anointed him, and gave him an insight on the blessing plan. This is the same promise that God gave to him, he gave to you and I. And I will make thee, make of thee a great nation, and will bless thee, and make thy name great, and thou shalt be a blessing. And I will bless them that bless thee, and curse them that curse thee, and in thee, listen now, and see, and in thee, what do you say? All families of the earth shall be blessed. These are God's, this is God's pattern of, for all of us. And, and if we don't accept God's pattern or God's plan, you're going to miss your anointing and your blessing. This was a promise. And the Bible said, and Abram departed as the Lord had spoken unto him. Come on here. All the word. And, and Abram obeyed the promise. He stepped out on a promise, became the father of many nations, became a blessing for you and I. And the blessing of the whole world, brother. Really. All of these things, what we're trying to show us here tonight, that God's word must be applied in every one of us. If we want, see, 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 it's, 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 it's good when we can know the word of God, but it's another thing when we obey the word of God. See, that's why I say, you can know about me, mm -hmm. but until you really, uh, 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 really be with me to know me, I mean to really know me, mm -hmm. you don't really know me. That's, right. True. Mm -hmm. that's the same thing. That's the same thing. It was about huh? what he was talking about, what Paul was talking about in, in the book of Ephesians. Mm -hmm. See, it, 
you must learn Christ. He didn't say learn about Christ. Come on, y'all. But you should learn him. Learn him is to be with him. Learn him is to know about him. Learn him is to uh, understand him. And all these things, you get him by you being, having a relationship with him. Don't nobody in here know me no, no more better than my wife. <laughs> because she be around me. She know me. See, you know of me. And that's the that's the whole thing tonight. We know of Jesus. But you don't really know him until you have an encounter with him. Or to fellowship with him. Come on now. And to Get in his word so that you can get to understand him and know what his word is to you. Because he gave us a promise. And that promise must be honored by faith. Oh, this the Lord. <laughs> this is why Paul was trying to show the church. Amen. I'm, I'm, I'm saying this because he's, he was saying here, oh Lord, he said, but mm -hmm. nevertheless, he mm -hmm. have not so learned Christ. Mm -hmm. If so be that you have heard him and have been taught by him and the truth is in Jesus. Mm -hmm. He's trying to show us that if that encounter there or that relationship is there, amen, it gets greater. Nothing that Jesus tells the church that just stop at one level, it gets greater. It gets better. Praise the Lord. That's why we have to realize here that we got to be able to walk in, in the God class anointing. God gave it to Abram. Abram passed it on down through the lines of time so we can have it tonight. The same promise that God promised him, the promise is, is to you and I. And I just believe that God got a plan of, of, of people that is going to walk in the walk and going to talk the talk. Not just say, I, I know him. You know of him. You got to know him. And to know him, the Bible said, is eternal life. Praise the Lord. You, you don't get to know him by, by eating all the time. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. Let me tell y'all something here tonight. Yeah. Physically, 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 being natural. Mm -hmm. Physically, you are what you eat. Oh, right. <laughs> yeah. Physically, everyone will, is what you eat. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But spiritually, you are what you think. You are what you think. <laughs> look at that now. Look at it. Look at it good. Physically, we are what we eat. Spiritually, you are what you think. That's why the word of God said, as a man thinking in his heart, so is he. <laughs> Hello? You, you just can't think anything here spiritually. And think it's going to be all right in the sight of the Lord. He told us what to think about. 
what you own things in London, what you own things in a good report, all oh, them goodies. Amen. Find it out in the book of Philippians what he said about how we are to think. See, and, 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 and what we would do spiritually, that's what you think. Because what you do naturally, physically, what you eat is what you eat. Uh-oh. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Yeah, I'm right about it. So, so what, what we need to start doing is, 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 is spiritually thinking on the things of a good report. Thing that is love, the thing that's going to help me to be more uh, a spiritually God conscious of what he wants out of me. Because God is trying to pull the kingdom out of us. Because if you stay, if, 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 if we stay focused, we must stay focused, kingdom focused. If you can stay kingdom focused, the enemy is trying to keep you off fo from your focus. And, and, to, and, 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 and this is where I do believe that he wants on kingdom order. This is why this is what I do believe he wants us to walk in the of God class. But if the thing that you and I are doing, it will not kingdom order and kingdom dominion, having all of these things in us, and don't compromise. You can't sit around here and compromise with the enemy. Because the enemy will tell you some good stuff. And it, and it ain't going to be good for nothing. He'll tell you some stuff, y'all, and you, you'll start running after him. And this is why we lose out with God, because and then we're doing the thing that God don't want us to do. And my, all right, in 22nd, 30, 22nd verse 8, and you put off concerning the formal conversation, the old man, which is corrupt, According to the deceitful lust. See, every one of us in here is wrestling. You are wrestling with the enemy. The old man want to stay in control. Now, who is the old man? What does the old man consist of? The flesh. Because the flesh is against the spirit and the spirit is against the flesh. And the old man tried to keep the, the spirit man a, 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 a weak. He don't want him to, to, to be strong. The old man, as I said, the physical man is what you eat, is who you are. You feed this man all the time. And don't get the spiritual man uh, full and, and, and strong. The, the, the physical man is going to win. Hello? Hello, y'all. Am I right about it? Because one thing was sure. The, 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 the strong man is going to win. If you don't fast, you don't pray. You don't do the thing. You don't read the word. All of these things is showing us you will be as weak and not be able to win. Not one battle. Because what you're saying, the old man have destroyed the spirit man. See, the, 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 the spirit man is supposed to rule the natural man. If the spirit man is not ruling, then the old man must be ruling. We say, come on, y'all. I said, people say, well, it's hard to fast. What makes it hard to fast, y'all? <laughs> Y'all ain't talking to me here tonight. And the more he is in control, the more 
این قصبه این کتر is because he do not want to be a loser he don't want to be a loser he's just like this this man we got this in, in, in office today he don't want to be a loser he raised an old kind of chain to stay in control <laughs> Your waistline keep going up. Keep going up. You must be saving. I told you on Sunday, we go from we go from from the couch to the refrigerator. We we sat down and, and, and that, that left the refrigerator and went back to the couch and stayed there for a few minutes and then we go back to it. You left what was in there, you left it in there. You know what's in there because you left it in there. <laughs> but we go right back to the refrigerator and look in there again. It ain't nothing different than in there when you went there the first time. <laughs> Praise the Lord. And this is why our waist is getting a little bit of tighter. <laughs> it, it's because we, we go from the couch to the refrigerator and then go to the cabinet. <laughs> See, all of these things, the enemy trying to keep you from being stronger than he is. Come on. And they go to tell it on you too. Come on, y'all. It, it go to tell it on you. And, and, and brother said, his ways are getting a little tighter. All because we feed that old man, and the old man is winning. Praise the Lord! And this is why we got to continue to keep him down, because if we don't keep him down, he's gonna show no winning. Am I right? See, all of these things is to to help us. Praise the Lord! To to be all together with God has anointed us to be here, even because. We're going to do this thing, and we must know this thing that God is, is trying to get the church in position so that we can be able to be conquerors. And see, He did not save us to lose. The enemy will always fight you. Praise the Lord. And, and that's why He's trying to get us to suit. You know, those are the things. That we just, the 20, 21, and 22, those are the things that he's telling us to put off this old man. Get rid of this old man because this old man, this flesh man is going to win. Oh, what? You better get rid of him and, and because you got to get rid of them gray clothes. <laughs> Pray the Lord. Amen. To, to know this one thing, you have to get these things out of our life. We have to because the physical man is going to win every time. If we don't keep him under control or put him off, get rid of him because he will always be at you to destroy what you're doing for Christ. He don't want you to know not one thing about Jesus Christ. Keep your Amen. Dumb something if you can. Praise the Lord. It, so that you don't be able to win. You don't never want to win. Always want us to lose every time. But you have to make up your own mind. See, this is one thing that I'm finding as I walk with God. You got to make up your own mind. Can't nobody make this up but you. Amen. I can teach it. I can tell you. 
But you are the one that got to get it. And if you don't get it for yourself, amen, ain't nobody else going to give it to you. Amen. And this is why he was trying to get the people of God to say, but you have, you have not so learned Christ. Get to learn Christ. Don't get to learn about Christ. And that's what people are doing. They want to know about it. You know what I'm, I, I'm almost persuaded to say? 89 and 90% of the people just want to learn about Christ. People don't really want to know Christ. They want to learn about Christ. Oh, what, I, what, he, what he can do. But when you show up, get a relationship with him, you will want to know more about it. That, that your walk of faith is, is, is real. Your walk of faith, I'm determined that, that nothing shall separate me from the love of Christ. See, when you start getting into that, praise the Lord, the enemy go to shoot after you that much stronger. He don't want you to get to know Jesus in no kind of way. But pray my strength in the Lord. See, see, he'll keep you at that point. Pray my strength in the Lord. Pray your own strength. Pray the Lord. These are things that the enemy will keep you at a low level. God gave us the God abilities of being more encountable to him more so now than ever before. If Abraham could do it, come on. What do you think we can do? It's no need of us coming to the house of God and, 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 and coming and coming and coming and coming and never reach the place in him that you feel absolutely positively free in Christ. How many of us really feel great determination in Christ? A great uh, 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 anointing that God is, is, is leading me into a greater anointing. Greater success. Greater deliverance. Hello, y'all. Yeah. See, we got to get more than pray my strength. And I'm, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not against it now. Don't, don't. See, I ain't that holy. But what I'm trying to get us to see here that we got to get beyond that, so that we can have that God confidence, walking in the God class anointing. Why can't I have, amen, that Abrahamic knowledge? What's keeping me from heaven? Or walking in that Abraham covenant, which was promised to me. This is why we got to stretch out in the word of God and grab a hold of some faith. We got to have some God faith now. Amen. Come on. Praise the Lord. We'll be around here praying my strength until we leave you. We must have some God confidence in the reality of what that word is saying to us. Oh, God, help us here tonight. I ain't trying to hurt nobody's feelings. Please, don't, 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 don't believe that. I'm trying to build up our most holy faith so that we can have the God confidence in him and, 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 and not to just depend on my pray my strength we got to get past pray my strength and get beyond that to the degree amen that I've got to, to know him for myself pray the Lord amen 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 that this is this is what I, I wrote down here. Have you ever had a personal encounter with him? Have you ever had a personal encounter with him? That that one that like that like like saw had on the Damascus road. And Jesus said, 
Why a new person can me? Oh, he, he was persecuting the people. Hmm. When you look at it, he had authority to, to go to the master to persecute, bring people back to 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 to, to rule the power, put them in jail. Don't y'all know it was Saul that held the court of Stephen yep. when they stoned him to death? Yep. It was Saul. Yep. This is why when he had that encounter with God, he could say, Amen, that, 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 that he, he had an experience that, that none like none of the apostles had. Right. He would, and then he also wrote that he wouldn't even worry. Hmm. Amen. Uh, 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 what God had did to him. Uh, uh, he, he wasn't even worthy of it because he, he persecuted the church. He killed saints. Had them killed. Had them stoned. But when God got a hold to it, he said, now, I'm going to show you for my name, said, what you going to do. He turned his life around holy and all together that's why he had such an encounter that he could tell the church, I want you not to just to uh, uh, talk about Jesus. I want you to, 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 to not to just learn him. Learn him to the point that you can really have an encounter with him. Praise the Lord so that you won't have to go around here uh, uh, telling people, pray my strength. You don't have to keep telling people, pray your strength. What you saying to the people what are we saying when we say that? We, our strength comes from the Lord. We as people of God got to learn, amen, that there are degrees that God wants me to have. And there is a place in him that he wants me to get. So that I, my, my confidence will be stronger. Oh God, I thank you. Now, 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 let us go to uh, Lord Jesus. I, I, I'm, I'm getting away from him. But I'm Praise the Lord. Amen. Because we, we, we need to have, we need to get that, that close, that close encounter uh, with him. Praise the Lord. Amen. When we begin to get into the word of God, it is so, my God, it is so wonderful, y'all. It is so great. Amen. In, in the book of Romans, in the book of Romans chapter 4, the apostle Paul was, was talking about Abraham our father, the father of faith, the one that, that, that could tell us about him from the beginning of what God was, 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 was doing and how God was manifesting himself to the body of Christ. Through him, he took a promise and stepped out of the promise. Not knowing where he going. Mm -hmm. Didn't have no conference. Mm -hmm. But he stepped out of promise. Mm -hmm. And became the, 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 the heirs of, of all things. Mm -hmm. He was talking here in this full chapter of Roman, and he said, as it is written, 17 verse, I have made be a father of many nations. Why? God, you did this. You took my word. You stepped out on a promise. You obeyed me. You believed me. Didn't know where you were going, but you took my word. And, and, and the same word that he gave Abram, he given it to you and I. You got to step out on a word. I made you a, 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 a father of many nations before him whom he believed. Even God, which quickened the, the dead and calling those things which be not as though they were, not all, were. I spoke to you eons ago, and you did what I said. See, see, we got to obey the word. How many times God have given each and every one of you a word? Come on. If you were real and honest, 
You will let me know here tonight. You ain't got to let me know. Let yourself know. You, how many times have God spoke a word in your spirit and you refuse to do it? I, I ain't gonna take a raise man. Because <laughs> every one of us in here, I ain't gonna go up. This is what I'm saying. He took God by promise. Not knowing where he's going. Not knowing who he's gonna be. But he took a promise. And this is why he could read him. As it is written, as it is written from Genesis, I have made thee a father of many nations. Glory that way. Before him whom he believed, even God, who quickened the dead and called those things that be not as though they were, who against hope believed in hope. That he might become the father of many nations, according to that which was spoken, so shall thou see me. Lord have mercy. And, but and, 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 this is what I'm, I'm getting with we go. And then, not we can think, he considered not his own body, now dead. When he was about 100 years old. Yet, the deadness of Sarah's womb. Listen, y'all. God let Abraham live long enough. He lived a hundred years old and talking about childbearing. God waited to his, his, his seed for dead. And yet the deadness of Sarah's womb. Every, everything, y'all, was dead as a dope Come on here. But God waited. See, this is how magnificent God is. Y'all know that. I, I feel like I feel like it. I feel it. This is what God sometimes wait to faith get worse. Terrible. He sometimes wait to faith get bad. I mean, where you can't get no way out. <laughs> Jesus. See, see, you ain't got no way through it. You can't get, you can't pay your way out of it. God wait till, you, till the thing get terrible. He waited till Abraham got a hundred and his wife, what, 99, I think, or 98, one of them. She couldn't bear nothing. The flower of age was gone. Abraham was gone. <laughs> hey, yes, no. I mean, sure enough, David. Couldn't, couldn't, couldn't come, come through with nothing. Well, when I was looking at this thing, God began to show me. He was showing up there. But God waited. That's why we, you can't hurry God. We just have to wait. I think God, look at it. Wait until the last minute of the time of bearing fruit was God. I mean, showing up God. It's over, eh? And then, <laughs> and then he spoke. The social I see, 
created them. And, and, and produced the magnificent of God. Lord, man, I'm blessed. Lord, how, 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 how great God is. How, how many times have you was at your worst meeting? And every one of us got to have a testimony on that. We we was at our, our last end. And, and and God came through. I know why I, we we been there. At our worst end. And God came through. Just to show up, I'm in control of this. Praise the Lord. Same thing he did with Abraham. Waiting till the last minute. Didn't have no way through it, around it, or couldn't bear nothing. Then it seemed dried up dead. Oh, <laughs> Ooh, Jesus. Thank Come on here. And being weak in faith, he considered not his own body, not on dead. When he was about a hundred years old. Yet the death is of Sarah's woman. He staggered not at the promise. See, it was a promise. He didn't stand at God's promise of God through unbelief, but was strong in faith. I Nothing but I still believe God. What He spoke, He was going to do. And that's the kind of faith God is looking today. Strong faith. Amen. We need to come to the place, Lord, I still believe. I still believe that you're still able. Amen. Yeah. Strong faith. Thank you. Amen. Amen. Giving glory to God. Praise the Lord. And then he'll come as it. Praise the Lord. Yeah. God is still God. Amen. He, 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 he's still in control. Ain't nothing new to God. We think all this stuff is new. Ain't nothing new to him. All this stuff that's going on, ain't nothing now. God knew it was coming. We didn't, but God knew it. But he staggered not at the promises of God through unbelief. Praise the Lord. Well, Lord, I'm not going to waver. I'm not going to change my mind. I'm not going to accuse God. Come on here. And sometimes people go to accusing God. Why you didn't do this? Hello? Praise the Lord. Amen. And being fully persuaded. Lord, have mercy. And being fully persuaded. That what he had promised, he was able to perform it. The same thing that God promised, amen, in the 12th chapter of Genesis, God gave his promise and he kept his word. The same thing he'll do today, he'll keep his word. See, but he's looking for some strong faith. Uh, see, Jesus, I'm still, I'm determined that God will still do it. Mm -hmm. And one writer said, though he slay me, I want to live. But yet, I'm going to trust him. Thank you. Thank you. See, we, we got to build up. That's why the word of God said, building up our most confidence, our most holy faith. Building it up every day. Building it up. Don't keep, don't stop building it. 
Building up our most holy faith, praying in the Holy Ghost. You can't stop seeking them. You can't, you can't, you can't give up. We got to keep prevailing before God. Praise God. I know you get tired. I know you get weary. And it seems like you ain't going to get nothing. Praise the Lord. Don't you know that's a trick of the devil? It's to make you feel you ain't going to get nothing. But you got to keep on prevailing. I know we all get to that point. Well, I don't need it so long. Amen. I don't know. Praise the Lord. Y'all come on with me. Uh, come on, go there, y'all. Come on. This is a time to try our spirit. He's trying us every day of our life to see or we going to be weak or we going to be have some strength. Praise the Lord. Amen. Every one of us is going to be tried. But I heard him say the trying of your faith is just working patient. Come on. Amen. Amen. We got to continue to build it up our most holy faith. We got to continue to do it. I know it gets rough. Amen. And Paul was saying to this in the same verse of scripture here concerning the grave clothes. See, the devil would keep up with those grave clothes, the old man clothes. got to continue to seek the face of God regardless. Amen. Strip yourself of the grave clothes. Praise the Lord. For these grave clothes I wrote down here. Amen. And that's why we say here know who you are first. Know who you are first. Mm -hmm. The old life of corruption is gone. You tell that old corruption light is gone. I am renewed. That's why the word of God said in that in that twenty third verse. And be ye renewed. Back in Ephesians. And be ye renewed in the spirit of your mind. Did you see? You got to continue to repeat to your own self in your own spirit. I am renewed in the spirit. Of your mind yeah. and say the gray clothes is gone. Yeah. Yeah. Cause when you get renewed in the spirit of your mind, you done got rid of the old gray clothes. Yeah. See, now if you don't believe that, go to the book of Saint John, chapter eleven, and, and, and you'll find out. Amen. Where where Jesus stripped a, a, a dead man out of his gray clothes. And gave him some new clothes. Mm. Huh? He told him, loose him and let him go. Well, we'll take them green clothes off. The Lazarus. Jesus raised Lazarus from the dead. And got him out of them green clothes. You got to get rid of these green clothes. Pray the Lord. Amen. You got to learn Christ. Learn him by having relationship. Learn him by commitment. Mm -hmm. Amen. Have an encounter with him more so now than ever before because we will need that encounter. Right. Praise mm -hmm. the Lord. Amen. 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 God is still great. And he's greatly and worthy of all honor yeah. Yeah. and praise. Yeah. Yeah. How do we do that? Yeah. Be renewed. Be renewed in the spirit of your mind. That's how we can do it. Be renewed. Put on. He tells us how to put off and how to put on. And until we learn the steps of it, we ain't got it. You got to put off first and then put on the new man, which is Christ Jesus. And be renewed in the spirit of your mind. And that you put on the new man, which is Jesus Christ, which after God 
is created in righteousness and truthfulness. No, that, that, that makes me know that makes me know that there's a fault in this. He said, and truthfulness. Oh, praise the Lord. Amen. God is good, Job. Amen. And the more we get into the Word of God, we all go. See, God's people ought to want to just bask in the Word. Ought to want to come to Bible class and get in the Word. Ask questions. Amen. Amen. Give your comments. All these things. I'm just trying to stir us up here to show us how important it is for us to learn the Word of God. Because if you don't learn it, praise the Lord and talk about the Word of God. How are you going to enjoy what they say? Amen. That's why over in the book, I think in Malachi, I think it is, in the book of Malachi, he said, when I come to make up my jewelry, not no jewelry, not no jewelry. <laughs> my jewelry. They shall be mine. God wants us to be his. He wants he want us to pass in his, in his glory. Pass in his anointing. Praise the Lord. Put on this new man, which is Jesus Christ. Amen. The hope of glory. Amen. Pass in his anointing. Thank you, Lord. We pass in other things. Yeah. And why can't we pass in his anointing? Praise the Lord. And stay in focus. Amen. Kingdom focus. Operating in the kingdom of his dear son. Jesus got the last say about everything. Now, if, ands, and buts, he got the last say about it. <laughs> well, Jesus got to get to the night. I don't know about you all, but I, 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 I enjoy when you get into the word of God. I enjoy the word of God. Amen. And, and, and this is one thing that we got to know. Because if we don't be renewed in it, amen, uh, 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 and get it down in us and bask in it and be, into, and be encouraged in the word of God and to know what God is saying to us so we can enjoy and have a, a spiritual encounter or spiritual relationship and to make it personal. Yes. Make it personal. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Just tell your own self, I got that. I know it, right. And then you tell yourself too, I can't do without it. <laughs> Pray the Lord. See, God is trying to wake us up, church. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. So, so well, God bless you. I hope something to say here tonight to encourage you and help you, even to to to, to be motivated and dedicated to the word of faith and, and the word of victory, so you can get this thing in your spiritual being. Amen. Let your own self know this. Amen. I've got to be renewed. I've got to be renewed. I can't stay in this old man. This old man will make you sin. This old man will make you evil. Hello? This old man will get to do right. And give you some foolishness stuff. And he'll come on here and have you doing some crazy stuff. <laughs> Am I right about it? Have you seen some crazy stuff? Mm -hmm. Some foolish stuff? And praise the Lord. And if you ain't never joke, you go to cussing. Okay. Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord. Mm -hmm. The devil don't care about what you think. Mm -hmm. Come on. Yeah. And, 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 you, and if you ain't that spiritual, if you ain't spiritual now, you'll show myself some stuff. Because the enemy wants to keep you on the carnal side. He don't want you to go to thinking nothing about spiritual, nothing about being a conqueror. He always wants you to be talking about, oh, I, I'm just as painful as I can be. 
get away from him. You ain't kidding me. Oh, that's right. Oh, that's right. I'm just repeating. Why are you going to say that? He'll sit on top of your head and have you say something. Hello? And this is so important for all of us. Anyone? Y'all ain't got one? No, you ain't got to say. Can you go back for a minute if you, before you shut down and go back to the past and that church? Because sometimes when we get away from something, we don't realize the importance of what fasting does. It's really not important to, you know, uh, just go without food. It's for a spiritual and sometimes going back over that, you know, can really spur the heart. And then, Wednesday, is that the apostolic? That has been said for a minute. Ever since that when I come into holiness, mm-hmm. it, it was even way past me mm-hmm. that they, they, they set Wednesday aside. Mm-hmm. It, it don't have to be. You choose the day you want to fast. But they did that as an apostolic uh, 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 fast day for the for the body of Christ, mm-hmm. and they kept it going. They kept it going up to, even until now. Mm-hmm. Before I even got in holiness, they, they were doing it. So, so the only thing you can do, whatever you do, hey, take a day. You don't have to be Wednesday. Take a day you want to fast. Listen, like she said, there's nothing way that you can go about. Mm-hmm. That's what I was. That's what I was like. You know, not drink water, not eat food. You both go days. Oh yeah. You you can go as many days as I tell people this. As, as, that's one of the fast long. Make sure, make sure that that God is is giving you the the the, the, the ability of fasting when you're going on a journey. Mm-hmm. Amen. Don't just go on a journey just to be saying you're going on a journey. And then again, it depends on, on who you are. Yeah. You know, you can go on a journey. And, and, and when you go on this journey, uh, uh, like, as far as I went, ever went was 10 days. Mm-hmm. And, and you have to drink water. Mm-hmm. Because uh, your body, you know, have to have that water in order to, otherwise, because when you fast, you're going to build up a temperature. Your body's going to build up a temperature. And you can kind of keep that water in you to kind of keep yourself fleshed out, you know, so you won't have to have no great temperature. And, and all of those things, in order, that, that, that's what be my uh, interpretation of that. But for one day, you know, you just don't have to have no water for one day. Your body can go without water for one day. But if you're going to go two, three days, I would say take a little water every now and then. And then it's sort of to keep your body kind of, you know, fleshed, fleshed out. Fasting is spiritual. Amen. And it's to help you uh, give you more spiritual insight uh, of getting where you need to get in your heart. And strengthen your faith. And strengthen you to pray more. And strengthen you to believe what God is saying. And enhance you. It will really enhance you. And that's uh, people don't like don't like to go no long journey, but you have to teach yourself, and, and, and if God tell you to do it, then you'll be obedient to what God is saying too. Mm-hmm. Because He's not going to tell you to do something that is against your body. Mm-hmm. Right. He's going to tell you something to tell you to encourage you, you know, to help you. Now, people that that sick and afflicted with different condition, and sometimes you have to. Your own medication. Right. You have to, you know, take your medicine. You know, you, I ain't tell nobody ain't no, not to take your medicine because mm-hmm. I, I ain't gonna be the one to, to take it. I know. You need your own on that. But you know, I would suggest that you take your medicine right. and, and still can pass. But, uh, mm-hmm. but uh, God judges you on, on what you desire. But but don't just fast because I'm. I'm on medication, but well, I'm on medication, I can't come fast. No, that's, that's the devil trying to tell you that. See, fasting will bring deliverance to you. 
It'll bring many things to us that, that God can do for us if we, if we become subject to what God is saying to us. It, 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 it enhances us. It, it helps us spiritually, physically, mentally, because we need to be strengthened.
So, so you don't sway away from fasting. It's, it's good for the spirit man. Yeah. And don't just look about it.